हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर राकेश कुमार त्रिपाठी एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस लीनियर इक्वेशंस इन टू वेरिएबल्स सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू मेक अ लीनियर कॉम्बिनेशन हाउ टू मेक अ लीनियर इक्वेशन एंड इफ लीनियर इक्वेशन इज देयर हाउ टू रिप्रजेंट that linear equation means equation of a line on coordinate geometry plane means on coordinate plane which is known as two dimensional plane so first of all what is your age i think you will be of 13 or 14 or 14 plus so your age is at this point means your age is lying at this point and think that you and me are of 58 you and me are of 58 so you let you be x and i be y and x plus y we together you and me together of 58 so you are knowing that you are of 14 years and that is why because we together we together is 58 therefore therefore my age is 44 44 years otherwise suppose if your friend your friend of any age group and my friend of any age group both are having combined age as 60 can we predict what their ages can be no we cannot predict they may be of 14 46 they may be of 20 and 40 40 and 20 because we do not know their perfect ages so this is what a linear equation so this kind of relation relation in x and y like this x x plus by is equal to some c for example c in this case is 60 in this case c is what 58 and what is a a is coefficient of x b is coefficient of y so this kind of combination this kind of combination between x and y is called linear equation and why does it call linear equation because it represents a line let us see how does it represent a line so to know how does it represent a line we will have to think of many options many options like what i tell you let's consider the same example which i discussed with you x plus y your friend and my friend on combining their ages they are of 60 their combined age is what 60 years so if x is what x is of 10 years y will be what 50 so this 10 plus 50 is what this 10 plus 50 is 60 therefore this combination this pair 10 comma 60 this is called solution solution of what solution of this solution of this equation this linear equation so next combination may be 20 plus 40 60 
so 20 comma 40 another combination can be like this 25 plus 35 60 so 25 comma 35 this is what another solution so you may be thinking that there may be how many solutions so there may be infinitely many solutions this symbol stands for infinite keep this in mind infinite solution there may be how many solutions infinitely many solutions okay and suppose if i take x as 20 and y as 25 20 plus 25 is it 60 no so it means this 20 comma 25 is not a solution is not a solution and these points are what the points are what they are they are called solutions on in last exercise of coordinate geometry if you would have seen then i discussed about coordinate plane 2d plane two dimensional plane x axis and y axis this axis is x axis y axis and let's mark few points on this 10 20 it is up to us we can consider them as 10 20 based on our scale it is not compulsory that this should be one two three like this no it is up to us we can consider that 1 cm as 10, 2 cm as 20, 3 as 30, 4 as 40 and 5 as 50 and likewise here. So 10, uh, 20, this I am writing on the basis of judgment but to draw this, these points you need to have a graph paper or if you don't have a graph paper you can make graph with the help of scale so this 10 comma 60 where will it be lying so this is 10 x is 10 and y is 60 so this point will be 60 so this point is lying here this axis is called y axis this is called origin as you know it 10 comma 60 another sorry 10 comma 50 it should be i am extremely sorry it should be 10 comma 50 so the point will be here not there 10 comma 50 this point is 10 comma 50 and this is 20 comma 40 20 comma 40 will be this point 20 comma 40 and 30 comma sorry this point is 25 comma 35 so 25 will be here 35 will be here so this is the point 25 comma 35 and the most interesting thing you will find in this process that these all points will be lying on a line if you join if you join all these points if you if i take one more point if i consider one more point 30 plus 30 becomes 60 so even this 30 30 is what 30 30 is a solution a solution so 30 30 is where this 30 30 is this point and on joining all those points on joining all those points you will find only one line there will be only one line so this represent what it represents this line because I did not consider many cases because there may be how many cases there may be infinitely many cases and it is our limit that we can consider few cases not all the cases but we can imagine that what can be those all the cases so all the cases if you will consider then all the points all such pairs all such pairs 
which will be which will be solution of this kind of equation they all will be lying on a line and if this point 20 comma 25 this point will not be lying on the line you can see here where is this 20 so 20 is this and 25 is this so on joining 20 and 25 is it lying on the line no it's not lying on the line that is why it is not called a solution so to draw a line to draw a line let's come to the point now my dear students to draw a line it is very very easy to draw a line let's see how to draw a line so we are now learning how to draw a line so if I wish to draw a line for example if I say that I have a line 2x plus y is equal to 6 if I wish to draw a line so I should make a table of this kind even horizontally or vertically it is up to you so here should be x and here should be y so make two columns for one for x another for y conventionally we say that left side is for x right for y otherwise you can interchange it is up to you and if you wish to draw uh, means horizontally no problem it is up to you everything is up to you no problem my dear student so first if i put x is equal to any value y will be so if i put x equal to one it is by my choice only i can consider any value of x so why didn't i take zero zero is the very easiest value so you may take zero no problem undoubtedly zero is the easiest value so if i take x is equal to one let's put x is equal to one so it becomes two into one plus y is equal to six y is equal to two into one is two transfer this two on right hand side so it becomes six minus two is four so y is four if i put x is equal to zero so should i need to calculate it again and again or should i it need to show it no need to show it you just write the table if i put x is equal to zero y is what six if i put x is equal to some other value if i put x is equal to two two to the four transfer this four on this side six minus four will be what two so how many values should i consider so it is known to you to draw a line how many points do you need my dear students you need only two distinct points how many points do you need you need only two distinct points and we have considered how many three so are these three points enough yes they are enough even two points are enough so i will let you know how to draw with the help of two points and i'll make you a master of this chapter you remain with me let's come to the point now and i request you that even if in this medium students are there even you can suggest this video for them too because this is not a very complicated english what i am speaking to you so let's try to draw this line so what are the points so first i need to mark the points one two three four and as i told you as i said you that for this what you need you need a graph paper so for drawing this line on graph paper you suppose paper is like this so never draw graph graph like this you need to plot the lines in this way from the center you draw a line horizontally and from the half of the paper draw a line vertically okay so few negative points should be considered here minus one minus two and minus three and so on and likewise here one two three it is known to you that is why i am not emphasizing much on this minus one minus two minus three and so on let's see one comma four where this one comma four will be lying this one comma four one comma four x is one and y is four 
so this point is lying 1 comma 4 is lying here this is 1 comma 4 this pair is 1 comma 4 and where is this 0 comma 6 so 0 what is x x is 0 so 0 is here and y is 6 so y is 6 will be here 5 6 so the next point is this so now it would be clear to you that the line will be like this but let's consider one more point 2 comma 2 where will it be lying and this is this i i draw on the basis of prediction so it may be or may not be exact but when you will draw a line with proper ma proper measurement then you will find definitely a line like this and all the points whatsoever points you will be considering in this they all will be lying on this line so let's try to draw few more lines suppose if your teacher asks you to draw a line whose equation is y is equal to x plus 3 what is that equation y is equal to x plus 3 and as, as I told you that I'll make you a master of this so how shall I make you master let's say x here and y here horizontally because now you will be having idea of both horizontal vertical x is 0 let's put x 0 if you consider x as 0 y will be what 3 and now do not think much let's consider y equal to 0 so if you consider y equal to 0 0 is equal to x plus 3 and this 3 will be going to left then this will become minus 3 so therefore when y is 0 x is what minus 3 okay so two points are enough only two points are enough no need to take more points and if you wish to take more points or your teacher suggests you to take more points then no problem you may take few more points but now you can draw the line so 0 comma 3 and minus 3 comma 0 where this 0 comma 3 this pair 0 comma 3 will be lying and this minus 3 comma 0 will be lying so 0 comma 3 this is origin 0 1 2 3 this point is what 0 comma 3 and this point is minus 3 comma 0 minus 3 will be lying here x is minus fc size minus minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and i request you to watch my previous video on the chapter coordinate geometry so that everything will be clear to you so minus 3 comma 0 and 0 comma 3 on joining these two points we shall find a line so this is the line which represents to what it represents to y is equal to x plus 3 but my dear students if you wish to draw a line like this means suppose if your teacher asks you draw a line which is represented by x plus y is equal to how the question will be asked draw a line represented by and similarly this question draw a line represented by this so what will you do mark x and y in this way put x is equal to 0 if you put x is equal to 0 y will be what 0 and if you put y is equal to 0 what would happen again x is equal to 0 means but these two are not different points what I told you to draw a line there should be two different points but these two are not different points so take any another point let's take x is equal to any point whatsoever point comes in your mind you can take you can consider your lucky number means if i consider x is equal to 9 9 plus y is equal to 0 means y is equal to what minus 9 so what i took 
x is equal to 9 and therefore y is what minus 9 so points are what 0 comma 0 and 9 comma minus 9 so let's draw another coordinate plane this is what o 0 0 and this point 9 comma minus 9 1 2 3 4 5 like this 9 will be here and minus 9 will be here so this point is like this 9 comma minus 9 lying in fourth quadrant x is positive y is negative which we have discussed in last chapter on joining these two points we shall find a line like this so i re i request you to draw a line of x is equal to y even it will be passing through origin it will be passing through origin and 2x is equal to y 1 by 3x is equal to y try to draw these kind of lines and they and when you will draw these kind of lines therefore then you will find certain lines will be like this 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 and there will be a change there will be a change in their inclination inclination some is like flat and some is having this great slope more slope slope is very high so like this so you will find that their inclination inclination with what inclination with this axis and try to notice what kind of inclination you are seeing and what kind of inclination you are seeing because of what means does it depend upon this and please notice it i am writing one more equation for you so that you will find a great observation you will have a great observation why this is happening so after this let's draw a line in which we have only x or only y no x and y together for example this line x is equal to 7 we do not have this it means y here so y can be introduced how it can be introduced let us see 1x plus 0 y is equal to 7 and after drawing this line we shall make an observation so let's take x and y put y put x is equal to x is equal to 4 then can you find y here no you cannot find my dear y because if i put here 4 plus 0 y is equal to 7 and this 4 will be transferred over there then 7 minus 4 is 3 and 0 7 minus 4 is 3 3 cannot be 0 so you cannot find you cannot find what you cannot find value of y so here what you will have to do now you will have to put value of y suppose if you put y is equal to 0 x is 7 if you put y is equal to 1 1 into 0 is what 0 and if it is 0 no need to transfer it on right side again x is 7 if you put x is equal to 2 x is what 7 let us try to draw this points are what points are 7 comma 0 7 comma 1 7 comma 2 so what is 7 comma 0 let us see 7 comma 0 this is origin 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 comma 0 is this what is 7 comma 1 7 comma 1 will be this this point is what 7 comma 1 another point 7 comma 2 
so 7 comma 2 will be here so on joining all these points what do we find we found a line parallel to which axis this axis is called y axis parallel to y axis when x is what 7 therefore we found a line parallel to y axis situated at situated at a distance of 7 units from origin in positive side in positive side and suppose if you had x is equal to minus 7 then the line would be like this and this will be lying in which side in left side so it will be it would be a line parallel to which axis y axis situated at a distance of 7 units from origin in, in negative side so whenever you have x is equal to 1 2 3 or x is equal to 7 x is equal to 9 or x is equal to minus 9 means x is equal to constant x is equal to what constant constant then this will imply a line parallel to which axis y axis so i request you to draw for y is equal to 3 y is equal to 4 y is equal to minus 7 like y is equal to 0 2 so draw these lines and you will find all those lines will be lying will be lying parallel to which axis definitely you are thinking correctly that these lines will be parallel to which axis these all lines will be parallel to x axis will be parallel to x axis so i request you to draw all those lines for these equations they are called equations even they are called equations because they are having an equal to sign if they do not have an equal to sign if they have this sign or this or this or this then they used to called inequations instead of equations we used to say inequations and the noticeable noticeable thing which the most important thing i am discussing with you when you will draw this y is equal to zero so y equal to zero will be like this line this is of course known as what this is known as x axis but its equation will be y equal to zero and its equation will be x is equal to zero whether it is known as y axis so if you wish to draw x is equal to zero or y equal to zero let us see so for y equal to zero i am discussing with you if you wish to draw draw y equal to zero so how can you draw this right in this way 0 x plus 1 y is equal to 0 and now try to substitute value of x only not to put y so x is 0 if x is 0 y is what 0 if x is 1 y is 0 x is 2 y is 0 where is this point 0 comma 0 1 comma 0 and 2 comma 0 0 comma 0 is here 1 comma 0 is here 2 comma 0 is here this is 1 comma 0 this is 2 comma 0 if you will join all these what will you find you will find my dear students y is equal to 0 and if you will draw this x is equal to 0 so in this video we have discussed a lot and i have assigned few great activities to you do those activities and my best wishes with you and read carefully 
listen all the things carefully if you could not have understood anything do watch the video again and watch it very slowly and my best wishes with you wish you all the best i am dr rakesh kumar tripathi your great friend all the best my dear great friends